someone at the end of the day had to do this somewhat regardless of how they rationalize at the end of the day rationalize killing you know innocent human beings attack innocent people because of the way they felt and I just find that really profoundly disturbing and for it to happen somewhere I mean I understand Boston is a major city but you don't expect it to happen here it's a small I mean it's much smaller than New York City it's not one that's not LA it's just a quaint town essentially and it was the target of something like this are you in Boston caller sorry are you in Boston I am yeah I'm a student so, um, I just want to just draw an analogy, though, real quickly. Uh, um, you know, a lot of people die senselessly all over the world. In fact, in the first couple of weeks of the Iraq War, 2,890 children died, innocent children in Iraq. So and this happens all that, over the place. Why add to it? Like, what, is the, what do you get from adding to that grand total that some of people... I don't think you get One anything from it. I'm just trying to draw the analogy, the, 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 the correspondence. Uh, you know, we seem to care when it's in Boston, down the street, during one of our festivals. But we don't seem to care when it's on the other side of the world and our, you know, our airplanes are dropping the bombs. But again, it's not, it's not you know, the government isn't being hired by this. The people who made those drop those bombs and the one affected by the three people and the 150 some odd people that hurt and attacked in this incident is just other random people. I'm not trying to justify whatever happens to the rest of the world. I'm just saying more violence is not really a good solution to the problem I don't know. I see. Well, th tell, tell us, um, uh, Lorraine, you have any, could, were you able to hear that, Lorraine? Yeah, well, I just think it's an attention-driven world, and people will do anything to get attention nowadays. Call yeah, well, however they rationalize it, it's bad. I mean, at the end of the day, you have three people dead and 156, you know, injured, and you just shook the fiber of a country, essentially. So, you know, today the Senate rejected the... Um the um, the uh, gun lobby uh, the 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 background check bill. So you know you're a student. You're in Boston. You feel bad about this, uh, but at the same day, well, actually, two things happened in the last two days. Yesterday we had our report on torture that you know, we actually did torture people and that it was uh, you know blessed by the highest levels of our administration. And number two, today the Senate rejected the. Um, background check bill on guns. So as a young person, sort of in the middle of all that, how do you, what, what's your, your hope for the future? Honestly, it's depressing as it sounds. I don't really have much. I mean, it doesn't really seem that the government, the governing body of this country and basically every other one in the world don't seem to care. I mean, they did a poll, I think it was 84% of people support enhanced gun background checks for Gun, guns, etc. I mean, like, the, essentially just the NRA was too big of a lobby to allow that legislative action to pass. And I saw that report that came out. It, it doesn't really matter. I don't think, regardless of how much outrage is fostered by things like this, that anything will happen. And it's really kind of sad, but I don't know. I'm just going to accept it. Would you consider a career in government? <laughs> no. So, you feel this way. I'll let you go call on a bit. We really appreciate your call, uh -huh. and um, we understand your feelings. Um, and how would you suggest that we try to diminish violence in our world? I don't think there's like a grand cure-all answer to that. I think just on a personal level, each person needs to strive to be a better human being, and then, you know, collectively each single person of the seven some odd billion human beings that are on earth decide that it's not okay to do things like this and we'll have a better society but I don't think taking the approach of we need to fix you know this government system and that influence X number of people has to be an individual decision that adds up to a cumulative solution I guess 
Well, Carla, thank you so much for your time and your insights. We really appreciate it, especially coming from a young person in Boston, okay? Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, cheers.